All right, this is fourth grade, module three, lesson one. And in this lesson, we're going to be investigating and use the formulas for area and perimeter of rectangles. And especially the thing we're going to focus on is all of the different flavors of formulas that exist for perimeter and, and how we can derive them. Let's get started. All right, suppose we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. Four, five, six. Well, let's make it five by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do five by eight. That's beautiful. There we go. Five by eight. So we have five units and eight units. All right. And so what we're going to do is now let's say we have a rectangle over here of unknown units. Let's call this length and let's call this width. All right. And to be honest, I can never remember what the convention is for which one's supposed to be length and which one's supposed to be width. And technically, it doesn't really matter. Um, so let's go through all the different ways we can find perimeter. And we'll, let's do perimeter first um, of, of this rectangle. And then we'll find its analog over here. So the idea would be, um, so the first thing is, what is perimeter? Well, perimeter is the distance if you started at one corner, let's say we're going to start right here at this corner, and if you were to walk all the way around the block, that's perimeter. So one way we could find the perimeter is we could say the perimeter is 8 plus 5 plus 8 plus 5. And what, what is that? That means we started here and we walked up 8, we walked over 5, we walked down 8, and we walked over 5. So really, we should squeeze in a 5 and an 8 here. So what would that look like over here in this general rectangle? Well, the formula, let's see. If we walked up 8 over 5, down 8 over 5, what would that look like here? Well, it would look like... We walked up W, we walked over L, we walked down W, and we walked over L. So the formula would be W plus L plus W plus L. All right? So you can see the connection between these two formulas. Now, another way we could write it, we could say, um, well, we have two eights. We have an 8 plus an 8. Let's go out of order. We have an 8 plus an 8, and we have a 5 plus a 5. So one way we could do it is we could say, hmm, we have 2 times 8, so that's 8 plus 8, plus we have 2 times 5. Why do we have 2 times 8? Because we have two 8s. Why do we have 2 times 5? Because we have two 5s, and we're adding them together. So what would that look like over here in the general rectangle. Well, instead of having two eights, we have two w's. So it's going to be two times w plus two times l. All right, parents and teachers, these little time signs right here, totally optional. You don't need these dots. Um, but I'm going to put them in because right now in fourth grade, we, I want to emphasize the fact that we're multiplying. I don't need to worry about algebraic conventions right now. And then the last formula that we could come up with, another formula we could come up with, is, and this is the one that this lesson really wants our students to learn, which is, well, what if we added this side plus this side so that would be 8 plus 5, but then we can times it by 2 because we have another matching pair over here. So the formula would be 8 plus 5 and then times it by 2. So what would that look like over here on the analog side? Well, it would be, start with P, perimeter equals... So on the left side, we did 8 plus 5 in parentheses. So over here, we're going to do W plus L. 
So that's going to look like W plus L. And then we're going to multiply that by 2 because you have W plus L. And then you're going to have another one down here, a W plus L. So that's why we have to multiply by 2. So W plus L right here and then times by 2. All right, so now this is the formula that Eureka Math would like us to um, follow for this lesson. Although, um, at this point, it doesn't matter what our students use, which method, as long as they understand what perimeter it is and how to get it. For area, area is, oops, I need the letter A. Area is the idea of how many blocks, how many little squares are on the inside of this rectangle. This follows straight from the third grade modules on multiplication, where they're using the area model of multiplication. So we know that the area of this rectangle is length times width. In this case, it would be 5 times 8, uh, which happens to be 40 square units. Uh, which means over on the right side, what would our formula be? Area is equal to, it would be L times W. So that's our area formula. So we've got, oh my gosh, I'm getting a little messy here. Two formulas, one formula for the perimeter, one formula for the area. So here we're being asked to determine the area and perimeter for each rectangle. Really quickly, let's just do problem B. So perimeter, we know the perimeter is you're going to go the, the distance around this rectangle. So we're going to follow what, what uh, Eureka Math has asked for, which is we want to add the length plus the width. That's the red part plus the blue part right there, and then we're going to multiply that by 2 because we have the matching sides over here. So that's going to be 2 times, and then L plus W, so that's going to be 9 plus 4, and I can't remember if it's supposed to be 9 plus 4 or 4 plus 9. That's the beauty of the commutative property of addition. 9 plus 4 and 4 plus 9 are the same thing, so it turns out it doesn't matter. And then, um, so that's going to be 2 times 13, because 9 plus 4 is 13, which is 26. So the perimeter is 26 centimeters. All right, so that's the first thing. Perimeter is 26 centimeters. And then the area is length times width, which is 4 times 9, which is 36. Now, it's 36 little squares. It's those little square units. So we're going to call it square centimeters. So we're going to say centimeters squared. So it's 36 centimeters squared. If you wanted to, you could have called it 36 SQCM. That says 36 square centimeters. Your choice. They both work. Um, so that's the perimeter and area. So here it says to determine the perimeter of each rectangle. And basically, parents and teachers, they just want us to do apply the formula to bigger problems, right? Bigger numbers. But I'm going to choose problem B. Because problem B is, I think, a little tricky in order to use that classic, and I'm going to write it way over here, 2 times L plus W. All right? I think it's a little tricky. So what I'm going to do is I want to do it kind of like the slower way and just add all four sides. So that side's 45 centimeters and this side is 2 meters, 2 meters 10 centimeters. And I want to add all four sides up. So the perimeter is, it's like the length plus the width plus the length plus the width. So that's going to be 45 centimeters plus Oh, I'm going to put cm, 45 centimeters plus 2 meters 10 centimeters plus another 45 centimeters plus another 2 meters 10 centimeters, all right? Now I'm going to kind of stack these up a little bit because now 
I'm going to say, well, what's 45 centimeters plus 45 centimeters? Well, that's 90 centimeters. Woohoo! All right, and then, well, right here, we've got 2 meters plus 2 meters, so that gives us 4 meters, plus we've got 10 centimeters plus 10 centimeters, so that gives us 20 centimeters, right? So now, <clears throat> take all the centimeters, so we got 4 meters plus 110 centimeters. So we're going to add all the centimeters together. And we know if you have 100 centimeters, that equals a meter. So really, we now have 5 meters plus 10 little centimeters left over. So the perimeter, we would just say, is 5 meters, 10 centimeters. So that's the perimeter of right here. Oops, I want to do a thicker pen there. So the perimeter is right here. It's 5 meters, 10 centimeters. So here it says, given the rectangle's perimeter, find the unknown length. So basically, let's do problem B. So we're told if we add this side plus this side, we should get 500. And that's because the other sides is the other 500, and that's why we're going to get 1,000. Right? So the idea is, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to remind ourselves that the perimeter is equal to 2 times the length plus the width. And that means... <clears throat> A thousand is equal to two times the x plus a hundred and fifty. So that means basically if we take this guy and this guy, add them together, multiply by two, we would get a thousand. Which means really if we just add these two guys together, we should get five hundred. So let's write that down. Five hundred is if we add x plus 150. <clears throat> so that means x plus 150, and let's do this, so this side over here is 500, and then this side over here is the other 500, and that's how we get 1,000 all together. So x plus 150 is 1,000, I mean, x plus 150 is equal to 500, so that means Using logic, that x must be 350 because that's the only way you can add two numbers to get up to 500. So x is equal to 350 meters because it says so. 350 meters because it says an m right there. So it's meters. So, parents and teachers, notice I didn't really use fancy algebra. I'm using logic, and that's perfectly fine. I happen to use this method for finding the missing value. If students want to use a different method, that is perfectly fine as long as they get 350 meters as their answer. And the last thing I wanted to show here is just, uh, well, let's do problem B. So, you've got a rectangle. And that rectangle has some sort of length, oops, some sort of length and some sort of width, all right? And <clears throat> we're told that if we multiply these two numbers, we should get 36. But if we add their perimeter, we should get 30. So what we have to do is let's first think about all the lengths and the widths that when we multiply them, we get an area of 36. So that's 1 times 36 gives us an area of 36. 2 times 18 gives us an area of 36. By the way, I should be calling this units squared or meters squared because it's meters here. I'll just call it units squared. That's fine. Oh, let's see. What times what? equals 36. 3 times 12 is 36 units squared. Um, 
we could do 4 times 9. That gives us 36 units squared. <clears throat> and the last one that we can do, and I'm going to squeeze this in here, the last one that we can do is 6 times 6 gives us 36 units squared. So these are our, what, five? These are our five possibilities. Now we need to figure out which one of these rectangles has a perimeter of 30, because it says so. All right. So basically what we're going to do is we need to do length plus width and then times it by 2. Remember the perimeter? The perimeter is length plus width times by 2. All right, that's an important formula. So we're going to add length plus width, that's 37, times by 2, that gives us 74. Well, that's not what we wanted. We wanted an area, a perimeter of 30 meters. So I'm going to call that 30 units. I mean 74 units. So let's do the next one. 2 plus 18, that's 20. And then times it by 2, that gives us 40. 40 units. Well, that's no good because we wanted 30. Let's try the next one. 3 plus 12 is 15. And then 15 times 2 is 30. Woohoo! We found it. This is our mystery rectangle. So that tells us the length is 3 meters and the width is 12 meters. And how did we figure that out? Basically we just made a list of all the possibilities and we examined each one and it, we were right on the third try. All right. There is no real beautiful formula where you can get the answer on the first try. This is one of those guess and checks. You just kind of keep going until you find the perfect combination that gives you the area of 36 and a perimeter of 30. And that wraps up a long video. That's fourth grade module three, lesson one, where we are talking about area and perimeter.